Push ups. Yeah, we're doing those. All right, we're gonna go over here. No, we're not. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's workplace wellness day at Kabuki Train. Are you ready? Oh, I know Travis is ready for some push ups. Dylan, you ready for some push ups? Oh, I'm only three working. Okay. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about some important topics. We do assessments and kind of uh, improvement of health and function for all of our employees at Kabuki Strength. But particularly our fabrication and weld staff, shoulder health is of extreme importance when you're like this all the time. People get locked up, being able to move that scapula, be able to have things happen appropriately is, is really important for long-term health for welders. I've worked with, uh, lifelong welders for a long time and they've been doing it for a long time and they'll end up with a lot of shoulder and neck issues. Travis, I know you've, you've seen that happen with people in your field, right? Yeah, I've suffered from that quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, and we're already working with Travis on, uh, on some of this. He's uh, trained with us here at Kabuki. He's making tremendous progress. Uh, a lot of our employees get into this stuff. So, Elena, you're the spur of this, okay? I saw Elena doing push-ups last night, and that's what got me thinking about this. Gentlemen, you join in? You in? in? Okay, I need a demo person. Oh, wait. They're talking to me. All right. Get over here. Get over here. All right. So, this is a push-up is, Dylan, I know you're giving me some crazy looks. We're gonna... It's like I'm not doing it. <laughs> so, a push-up is a closed-chain shoulder movement, and that means... The hand is fixed. We're not like in an open barbell or an open space. So it gets everything back into right here. So it's a really great movement for corrections neurologically. The push-up is a fantastic movement uh, for, it's, a, it's huge, people overlook it. I want a bench press. Well, you know how to push up correctly first. So key thing we're gonna talk about is the lat and the lat control of the shoulder, okay? Oh. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So, uh, but it's it's huge. A lot of people, you can think about the lat is like the glute of the upper back, the shoulder complex. So a lot of people are doing movement, separating, they're using all these little tiny shoulder rotators and pec delts, all this stuff, and not keying this in to stabilize it. So turn towards me. I'm gonna teach you a couple things to uh, kind of tie this into a push-up first. Elena, pay attention, pay attention. I'm the breeze. Yeah. Bad form. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to reach out here, reach out forward. Okay. So we want this movement to come through the shoulder. So I teach this a lot of times by locking this elbow here. So I'll grab him and then I'll grab the shoulder. And what I want you to do, we're going to teach external rotation. So it's twisting there at the shoulder. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Now I want you to do that with engaging this here. So right here. So go down. Boom. There. You feel that tight? And now you can just hold tension in there in any position. So you can go up, right in here, boom. And we're gonna stiffen this. And this is gonna tie that shoulder into the core, okay? So this is really great. So we can take a, some basic Kabuki concepts here around core stuff. We're gonna inflate, so push my fingers away. Great. You've done some coaching with us, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. yeah, I can tell already. You didn't have to teach anything. We're gonna inflate here, and now we're gonna stiffen in here, boom, and gain control of this and we're cueing this external rotation. So now we're gonna tie this into a push-up. So on the push-up, we really want to be focused on this part of the hand right here. So we really wanna be pushing that hard into the ground, and then we wanna think about grabbing the ground and twisting it up through the shoulder, not through the elbow. So lock that elbow out there, and boom. And now we've cued this to happen. Okay, so you're gonna come down and you're actually gonna be, as you go down, you're gonna kind of twist in as you do this and that's gonna create, you feel that tension, it's almost yeah. stopping you, yeah. right? I love to do this. I'm not gonna do this to our employees this way I used to teach it. Come over, come over here. I'm gonna have somebody stand, you know, like close to the wall, hands like this, you know, like this. Yeah. yeah. And then I'd freaking kick them over. <laughs> so hands off the wall right here and I'd be like, boom. Oh. And they naturally like do the right thing. I'm nicer. I don't teach it that way anymore. I was gonna do that to you today, Elena, but I decided not to. So, but yeah, the goal is so 
if I'm going to fall against the wall, you're going to go right into position to cue you versus like some other position, That's right? Position. So go ahead, uh, fall against the wall. See where you kind of naturally go. Oh, yeah. You see, well, why? You see where you're kind of weak. Uh, so move out here a little bit and then right in here. Like there like you go. That. Yep. A little bit more. A little bit more. There you go. Ooh. Does that feel a little better? Yeah. yeah. See my elbows there you are going go. down. Now you, do you feel this? Create some tension right there. You feel how that wants to stop you? Uh-huh. Good. Now we're starting <laughs> to get the basic of a foot. That's the spirit. <laughs> so now we're going to put this together. All right? All right. So we're going to grab that ground. We're going to push this hand into it. You're in on this, Travis, even though I know you had to do this with coaching with us. Okay? And then as you go down, you're going to twist and it's gonna, you're gonna come in there and you're gonna create all this tension right here. And then as you press, you're actually gonna spin back out because as you get towards the top, you'll be stronger. The lat will become less in, involved and you're gonna whoop, right into this position. So right into the finished position where you were at in your Instagram videos last night. So, so I'm gonna demonstrate. So it's right here. You're gonna push in harder here than I can. My elbows don't lock so I can't quite get my my arm fully there. You should almost see the white of the hand right there as you push it down. And then I'm gonna twist, see my elbow, not through my elbow, but look through my shoulder. Boom. And then go down, boom. And you'll notice I spin it, boom, out. And finish in this position here. Just like you'd finish in a bench press, right, Travis? Yeah, I bench yesterday. <laughs> Let's see how you do with bench with your leathers. Are you guys doing? All right, let's do some push-ups. All right. I'll just grab the formation. Good, good. So, there we go. Spread those fingers. Push through right here. Now twist that ground there. Come back up. So at the top, just stay here. We're gonna think about a plank. I want you to go ahead and push up. So here, right here, more tension right here, more here. Good. Now spin. There you go. Push out. Create a little pressure. Fill your abdominum. Oh, I feel it. You're gonna it. make it. I look... only did a hundred of these yesterday. <laughs> oh yeah, you did a hundred last night. So you're pretty sore. There we go. Good. Good and then good. Dylan. Oh yeah, Dylan's got in. All right. <laughs> Boom. Nice. Actually, really nice, Dylan. So go down. And then as you get towards the top, you can actually just you can spin out there. Look at Travis over here. Good. Yeah, Ryan. Yeah, catch, catch Travis over here. Catch Travis over here. Oh yeah. Travis just benched yesterday, so good. Oh. Want to yeah. push hard here and be twisted. Notice he's getting in here. You can see this tension even through his coat here in the lap, and then spins into elbow into the outer position right here at the top so we've got great concentration all through the shoulder. All right, so to get back to this, this is a goal. good like couple prep before a this welding day, so right? Great. This can actually get everything in that shoulder working and functioning well, get that scapula move, moving good and help with being in this locked up position. Welding, you guys know, you guys know the world. Dylan, you know this, right? That feeling after like a long week of welding and you're, all day. you're like, oh, just, you're tight, you're tight, okay? So this is really useful stuff. And a lot of people miss the fact that they think about strength training and just being in the gym. And one of the hugest places we can have an impact on is in the working world that we live in every day and a lot of us walk into and the impact that has on the injuries that we see on an occupational health standpoint. And putting these concepts into place can have a huge play on people's health, quality, and life, and extending their careers, happiness, all this sort of stuff. So there's a quick little push-ups or money. Push-ups or money. All right. You're smiling. You like this, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Thank you much. Yeah. It helps to be in shape because your job is easier that way. <laughs> like <laughs> Well, thanks for joining in uh, Kabuki Workplace Wellness Friday. All right. Go Travis. <laughs> Travis killed it. Yeah. yeah. 
Hey, thanks, guys. I, I really appreciate you joining. I know that's okay. are, are, are this, uh, is this a normal Friday thing now? Ah, I don't know. Maybe it will be. Well, next week we got crunches. <laughs> we... Aren't you the one that challenged? No, it's Ryan with the 100 push-ups the day challenge. I got challenged. So I knew posting it, I'd get some shit from Chris, but I was like, I'm strong enough. I want to get better. I don't want... I know people are going to be like, oh, watch your form. But, like, I'm doing it. I did it. 100 push-ups, barely. <laughs> <laughs> Just every day, one day at a time. That's right. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna love this at the end of it. So yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. And back to welding. Back to welding. <laughs>